you know, clearly uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. The things we're moving forward. So, uh, you know, get involved. Get involved in a Discord too. Uh, that's that's a lot of fun there uh, there as well, where people do cooking stuff in there. I do show where they're at. Uh, there's people all over the world in the Discord. It helps us stay together and helps build the community. And it's been a lot of fun doing so. Um, all right, let's get involved real quick. So as you can see on the thumbnail, it says bring on the rovers. Yes. And I have the manager up there on purpose because, um, you know, I was listed. I was reading uh, yesterday. Let me just go back there. Let me just re rewind there. Yesterday, you know, we picked out we picked the bones out the last couple of days of the of the Mansfield of the Mansfield match. And, um, you know, we can we can rest in that. We played great. We, everything looked good. You know, Moles is on 99. Awesome. Everyone's max is great. All this stuff. Right now, we gotta take that. Can't rest on that. We got to move forward. We got to continue to move forward. We got like we cannot. Let's celebrate it at the end of the season. OK, but right now, you know, that's gone. That's gone. Really good. Let's keep that momentum going. And um, that's going to be the quick main focus of this show. Um, and, it's, and if anyone's in the chat, I, I, you know, it's probably a bad time to do this for everybody because it is it is Easter. So, um, you know, it, it is it, it is Easter and there is a city game on. So I get it. So let's do a quick one real quick. Uh, quick one here. Um, but uh, one, two, three. X, Y, Z is in the, is in the house. What's going on, man? Uh, good morning. Good morning. But let's let's talk about this. So we we cannot rest on our laurels. And that's exactly what I think. Uh, and I again, I have Parkinson up there for a reason, because I don't you don't see that like classic manager where he's like, you know, really super and, you know, we're, we're the best. And no, he's not there. They're, they're focused. Um, you know, we went through our blip uh, and now we're looking at a team. Let's talk about it. So I just I just watched the. I just watched the Crawley Town, uh, uh, the Crawley Town Doncaster Rovers match. Um, it was an away match for Doncaster Rovers. And uh, they looked lively. They looked absolutely lively. And Crawley Town looked good, to be honest with you, too. But uh, going into this rivalry, they look lively. And if we have a proper, proper, if I have time tomorrow night, I'll do a proper, because um, uh, I want to get what what uh, what Parkinson's saying about it, too. So tomorrow night, we'll probably do a show about uh, a true preview. But I just want to take a look at what the Dons are about right now and what we're looking at the, uh, down the barrel done the barrel for, for lack of a better word for this uh for this game on on tuesday uh, after the matches yesterday so i watched that doncaster rovers game uh doncaster crawley game away they look good they look solid they're very confident they won four of the last five matches they drew the one before that and you know they you know they're i i listened to um I think it was tom anderson no tom anderson got the record i listened to one of their guys uh what's his name there hold on one second sorry matt al is texting me here sorry i'm um i just wanted to see what i was just watching about this real quick one second one second because i want to get his name right because he's a player he's a center half that, that played for them where's my history here what is going on here um Doncaster Rovers. so i watched it back who's the guy that said it? who's the guy who's the guy one second um richard wood yeah richard wood is one of their center halves right there he's uh he's center half i listened to his interview after the match too and uh he you know he's really um they seem really confident so they at the beginning of this at the beginning of the season uh, we'll talk about the game that we played against them on, on september 3rd all the way back in september 3rd uh, we played them and uh it was actually mull's first game back first game back and i'll we're gonna bring that up in a minute so he was talking about how they took 24 points in all the for all the beginning of the year they brought in some guys uh mizunu Bizunu, what's his name here sorry i'm working uh i'm working on one screen today i have the just working on one screen today. What's this idiot's name? Uh, I'm the idiot, actually. I could be wal the walrus. I thought the bun rides off people. Where is it? Um, Doncaster Rovers. There we go. Uh, they brought in... Uh, this is really... Sorry. This is not the way I wanted to do things. But I'm not, like I said, I'm on one. I'm on one screen here. And this sucks for me. And for you, I bet, to watch me fumble around like a moron here. Uh, Doncaster. Okay. So the guy that was yesterday that I saw they brought in um, is uh, Maxime Biamu. Maxime Biamu. And the kid that also looks really good is Hakeem Adelakun. Akib Adelakun, number 47. And Maxime Biamu is their striker who they brought in, I believe, in um, in January. Anyways, so the guy that was doing the interview was, was – um, was uh, Richard Wood, 
uh, after the match. And he said, you know, they took 24 points at the beginning of the season, and now they've taken 28. They won four to the last five with a draw. Uh, this guy, he's 38 years old, and he's playing at the back there. Um, but a lot of, they had a lot of injuries. They had a lot of injuries, and uh, they, they've, they think that to come back, and they think that, um, you know, they have a chance at us. They asked them about the Wrexham game. Uh, uh, like them, they're going to be ready to come and, and, and take it on us. You know, at the game yesterday, Crawley Town game, they had seven hits. So they had 34% possession against Crawley Town. They had 34% possession, and they had 17 shots, eight on target with 34% uh, possession. Now, the game was open. It was essentially uh, a back-and-forth basketball game, for lack of a better word. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to do that against us. I think we're a higher-quality team than, than Crawley Town, obviously. Um, but a team that is sitting in – a team that is sitting in where they are sitting in 15th place and Crawley Town was where Crawley Town's in ninth, by the way. And they won, they've won three out of the last five. That was the first game they lost in five and four. So Crawley Town is no slouch. Uh, but uh Don, and Don Caster took him. You know, Don Caster Rovers, four out of the last five with a draw. You know, like I said, yesterday game, 17 shots, 34% possession, 18, eight on target, you know, sitting in 15th place with 30. Come on now. That's, that's, that's insane. And they're on a run here. Uh, they've only played 39 games. Um, they've won 15, drawn seven and lost 17, negative nine goal diff. But still, I was watching it and the game was wide open. I was really impressed as Hakib uh, Adufakun. I, I, he said, I always get it and Max and Max up front. Um, good thing about this too, uh, there was a red card uh, in, in the match they had. So one of their center halves, Tom Anderson, uh, is got a red card. So they're going to have to figure that out at the back. And I watched their keeper and their keeper was making some pretty good saves as well. So, you know, this is not going to be, this is not going to be a, uh, this is not going to be a, a slouch game. What's going on? Hey brother, how you doing, Aaron? Uh, happy Easter to everybody coming in, uh, coming in. I said, I'm just going to do a quick one. Keep it light uh, for today. I want everyone to get back with their families and friends and spend some time, but wanted to get one up. And then tomorrow night do a proper, hopefully uh, after, after the, um, after the, after the games and yesterday for our game on Tuesday. So uh, John says, uh, Red Rover, Red Rover, send Donnie right over. Who remembers that childhood game? Absolutely. Yeah. And I think it was, was the arms were up and you go through all that stuff. Uh, who's this fella? <laughs> who's this fella? Elwood, like Elwood Blues. Yeah, that's uh, Elwood. That's Elwood is uh, all the sh shirts and the clothes I wear. Elwood all the time. See, there you go. It's normally like that. It's all Elwood. If you don't, that's uh, maybe someday there'll be a sponsor. We'll see. Uh, yeah, Elwood. Um, go check it out. Elwood clothing. They're really good. Anyways, uh, I do remember that. Uh, yeah. Hakim Will Fukem. Did I hear correctly? Hakim Will Fukem. <laughs> no, I, if they put a name. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm basically Ron Burgundy. You put something up there, I will read it and I will butcher it so i wanted to get his name right i still screwed it up anyways i watched him yesterday number 40 i watched the the, the play uh sorry the um the review of the game yesterday the pre you know the highlights and it was like that kid was lively absolutely lively and they they were you know had some really good really good shots and uh you know I, I, this team sitting in 15th place we cannot sit on our laws and i believe uh i believe that um I believe that uh, you know, you know, Mark Parkinson's going to have them ready. So you know, maybe, maybe today. I don't know if they're training. Uh, who the hell knows if they're training? But uh, he'll definitely have them focused. We cannot mess about. We can absolutely not mess about. By the way, yes, Elwood, like Elwood Blues, yes. But that, uh, like, yes, um, Aaron. Good to see you, man. Um, and thank you all for the uh, memberships. And I will sort out all what the perks will be on that. So it's really cool to see. UConn versus Field doing the double this year. Oh man, John, what's the what's the prop bet on that, John? Um, for Wrexham and for Wrexham and UConn doing the doing a back to back uh, promotion and a back to back win. Love to get that prop bet. I'm in. Uh, I'll take it though. I'll take it. I'll do a. Uh, uh i'll do a bar bet with you like a like a like a pipe like a handshake bar bet i think we're gonna do it i think we'll do it i'll take that uh mclean will knock uh, knock out any threats <laughs> yeah he will knock out yeah for sure i'm really pumped up uh to see this game too so let me see i was going to go through and do a few other things uh they're sitting in 15th they said they picked up 24 points in the, in the in the first half of the season 28 at the rest so they won four in a row uh this is what the what they were saying too and the richard wood was was saying he's like they feel they feel like they're building something um and they feel like they're they've got momentum behind them they're pushing for they're trying to push for the playoffs which is kind of crazy they're sitting in 15th how many are, are how many are they off there's no way they can get the playoffs at this point there's absolutely no way there are 51 points six no there's no they're nine points off there's absolutely no way but they still feel like they're building something whether it's this year 
or next year, he was saying, he's like, there's definitely building towards something. Um, and, you know, for the fact that like a middle of the pack team that I would, I would genuinely say does not have much to play for, you know, which it's sad to say, like, you know, much to play for, you're not going to drop, but they're still in sight possibly of getting a playoff, getting to playoffs. It probably ain't going to happen, but with the momentum and the streaks that the teams go on in this league, it, it's, it's sort of amazing. It's absolutely sort of amazing. Aaron says, UConn just lucky my Syracuse were in the tourney. Oh, man. I almost went to Syracuse and I thought better of myself. Aaron, hell no. Oh, the Sycamores. I thought you said Syracuse. Uh, the Sycamores. Who's, I don't know who the Sycamores are, but I, I, I see all that's why. Sycamores, I'm thinking I saw Syracuse and I, I saw I saw red right there. I saw red. Not doing it, man. I don't know who the Sycamores are, but they ain't UConn, baby. Uh, you, I'm doing the double. Okay, uh, moving on here. So the last, let's talk about the last time we played them. Indiana State. Okay, copy that. Indiana State. Indiana State, Aaron. Okay, my bad. There you go. Uh, so last time we played them was on um, was on September 9th. Uh, and uh, let's see. At the uh, sorry, September third. There was a Saturday, September third game. It was it was Moles' first game back. Um, and Moles' first game back, we we won two one. We had just beat Wrexham under uh, uh, Newcastle under 21s in the Bristol Street Motors who gives a crap thing. We beat Tranmere so far, Bradford City 1-1, drew with Barrow. Uh, we drew that that five shot five a crazy game with Swindon. Walsall we uh, we beat, drew with Rex, uh, drew with uh, Wimbledon. Uh, uh, we beat we beat Wigan on penalties in the, in the Carabao Cup and we got smacked by the Dons. So at this point, um, I'm going to read you. Let me read you the starting lineup. So at this point, Mulls was just Mulls was just coming back. He was on the bench. Okay, Mulls was on the bench. The starting lineup was as such. Um, it was if I can read my own stuff here: Howard, Barnett, Hayden, Tozer, Boyle, McLinden, uh, McLinden, McLinden, yeah, McLinden, Young, O'Connor, Lee, Palmer, and Dalby. Uh, Luke Young uh, scored in the 38th minute, and Elliot Lee was at the time uh, keeping us through. He, had, you know, he put his, he put his, he put the goals in for us. So, so he had the second goal. Um, but the time, I'm trying to bring this up here. So I'm working with one screen sucks. I got to tell you, um, working. But well, you got to, you know, that's what we got to do. It. I want to go to the live match center. On the bench, on the bench was this. Let me read on the bench here. Our bench was this. Uh, where the hell is it? Why can't I do anything right today? Live match center. Lineups. Here we go. On the bench was this. Our bench was AO, Max Cleworth, Jordan Davies, George Evans, James Jones, Stephen Fletcher, and Paul Mullen. Fletcher came on in the 80, 82nd minute. Mullen came on in the 59th minute. Uh, Max came on in the 32nd minute. Somebody got injured in that game. It looked like Aaron. Uh, and George came out in 82. So, I mean, we were a totally different team back then, even though some of the players that are currently playing and doing well for us um, were, were there. But Mark Howard was just getting his feet under him after um, after Fozzie left, um, and, and and Mullen was just coming off his injury after the summer. So, you know, we were not a full – we were we weren't ticking, and, but we still won the match. It looks like back then they were playing a 4-1-4-1. Obviously, we're in a 5-3-2. So, uh, yeah, but looking at, you know, looking at what they're doing now, you can't, uh, you can't, um, we, we can't just let them, let them come in. We got to go and we got to go down there and we got to take care of business again. It's one of those games. You got to come in and take care of business again. Uh, Indiana state, he said, La Larry, Joe bird, Larry, Joe bird. Uh, the Sycamores are in NIT semis. Good luck. Okay. See, this is all basketball stuff, basketball stuff. Um, how many fixtures do Wrexham have on, on the U S I guess U S two are they playing less and taking the women's team so they don't do it, do it over preseason. I don't know. It's a great question. I've only seen the one game, which is on the 20, I've only seen the one game, which is on the 24th of July, I believe that we got tickets to, um, that's the only men's game I've seen unless they're playing one on the, on the East coast as well. I don't know. So that's a great, but I, I know they're bringing them over and I think they're going to seven aside too. Um, but again, you know, I, I just wanted to, you know, talk, get on here and just do a quick one. Uh, unless anything else wants anything to bring up, but I, I was just thinking, you know, we got to bring them on. We got to go, we got to get out there. I, 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 I don't, I want to see what's going to happen tomorrow with the games got a huge schedule tomorrow uh, of games. 
uh, which I will not be able to do. I will not be able to do tomorrow. But, you know, we play on Tuesday. But um, Grimsby Town, Bradford City, Harrogate Town, Gillingham, Newport, Crawley, Mansfield, Accrington. Got to keep an eye on that game. Crew and Forest, Knotts and MK. That's a big game right there tomorrow. Tranmere, Colchester, Morecambe, Barrow. Barrow, everyone seems to be afraid of Barrow, like I was mentioning yesterday. Sutton and Swindon, Stockport uh, and Wimbledon. Another big game there. Come on, Wimbledon, do us a favor. Walsall, Salford, and we play on Tuesday against the Doncaster Rovers. So, you know, with all this going on, with all this going on, it's just like, you know, we, we got to take those wins. You got to take it, put it away. Awesome. Celebrate at the end of the season. So much more to do. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Heard of heard uh, three for men. Uh, they're doing the TST tournament. Yep. That's right. John mentioned that. How many fixtures? Uh, Aaron says it's crazy how much the teams have changed over the season. Yeah, it's crazy. And I just mentioned there too. It's like, you know, I'm looking at it. How Mark Howard Barnett's been playing, uh, you know, uh, Liam's in there. Uh, Boyle, uh, Tozer, Aaron, uh, Luke was a captain at the time. Stash was in there. Elliot Lee Palmer and, you know, Dalby started uh, Dalby was also in there too. It's just, you know, you know. To be fair, Mullen came out in the 59th minute, his first game back. I mean, he obviously wasn't going to score. He's nothing like he is now. So we won that match. They obviously weren't the same. I guess Mo Fall scored for them. That was their guy. Um, but you know, this is not going to be an easy game. It's absolutely not going to be an easy game. Um, and so, what are we going to do about it? I'm going to. John's going to love this. Parky's going to get him ready for it. He's got to. Anything. Got to go down. Got to win an away match. I don't care. Got to do it because Mansfield, they're going to, you know, Mansfield are going to come back strong. You know, Stockport aren't going to give up. Uh, yeah. MK Dons aren't going to give up. You know what I mean? So we can't, we can't screw, we can't screw around. Uh, Matt, I think they're, I think the five or six they did was too much. And then Mull, no, it was, it was, listen, I was at this, I was at the game when Mull's got hurt. Um, and he, geez, he got smacked. He got smacked up. And, uh, but there was, it was so much support for for Wrexham. I mean, I, the United fans were trounced, but it was all Wrexham fans. That traveling, what they did was amazing. Um, and, you know, they're coming up from the league. They celebrated it and getting it out there. And, you know, if they do less this year, I, you know, touch wood, we don't get into the playoffs. Touch wood, we don't. And we can do get a proper uh, get properly back into training and everyone, whatever we're doing next year, hopefully we're going up. But, uh, you know, it was probably – Maybe I pushed it a little too far, but you know what are you going to do? We'll look where we are, and you can't, you can't, we can't look in the past. We got to look forward. Um, someone once told me that. Uh, let me see here. John says, not sure if it's that for the ladies. Another win for them. Did yeah, the ladies one was it three 0 I was watching a little bit of that three 0 Good for them. I uh, said, okay. John Aaron says three games in the U.S. this year. Uh, there were four last summer. Yes, and I don't know when they were celebrating in Vegas. That was crazy. Uh, I'm okay. This John says, are you are you guys doing a live stream tomorrow? Red Horde, Race Course, Ramble, et cetera. So I'll get it. So let's see here. So I'm in the Discord with Red Horde, and I'm with the Ram Race Course Ramble with Matt and those guys. Actually, somebody just messaged me. Uh, if I can – sorry about this. Um, I think the Red Horde Race Course Ramble might be doing um, – it's like a collective. Uh, I will not be able to do that. I'm going to – I have to drive back up. I have to work tomorrow, but I'm – doing the game on Tuesday here on the local pundit for the Doncaster live. Um, I won't be doing a watch along. I can give the keys to somebody if they want to do it. Uh, usually, you know, um, sh but Sheldon might be doing a part of that too. Sheldon, I don't know if Ivan is, but I don't think we'll be doing uh, anything for tomorrow because we were trying to split up the games, which is kind of cool. It was a good idea. It was a great idea by Sean. Happy to help out in any way. I just can't make that work for me tomorrow. Um, can't wait them. so but i'll if i hear anything john i will message you uh but it, and i don't think you're in the discord but i'll message you personally but um, i put things out there to try to put things together so i'll keep you i'll keep you posted on that uh the women still have one more game yeah it's cardiff away uh john says absolutely they're big game players the big the bigger the better i was just watching the snots highlights from a year ago still get goosebumps yeah it's amazing isn't it the, i think that uh him the penalty save by fozzy is probably my my most favorite uh like I, I don't think i've ever screamed so loud i was sitting there with my cat salem at the time um and i went nuts I went absolutely nuts it's the best thing ever best thing ever seen matt al says uh one of the big worries uh was the u.s tour last year was too much yeah yeah <clears throat> well they'll probably learn from the mistakes not that they're mistakes probably learn from that and and tone it back a little bit tone it back a little bit but you know if we have an open top parade you know what we gonna do 
Uh, yes, Matt Al, the Welsh Cup Final Two, Rodney Parade on May 5th. Uh, this is the women's team, I'm guessing, right? Let's talk about the women's team. But um, yeah, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's Monday, lots of games. We're play we're going to play on Tuesday. Um, again, quick one, but just want to get in there and, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe it's a flip-flop on me. Got to believe in Parkinson. I said, we're parking the parky stuff and uh, seems to be working out, but uh, big game players. And John says it right. We got a big game player is going to show up tomorrow. Uh, oh, sorry, on, on Tuesday. And I think that's what it has to be. The lineup for me, I'm on, I'm going to unchange the lineup and we'll do a, we'll do a proper dive in tomorrow of tomorrow night, uh, after everything, but to me, I'm not changing anything tomorrow barring injury. I'm not going to start Barnett. Um, yeah, we'll talk about resting Lee. I don't think so. I'm going to go with a side that works. I'm going to go with AO Mac at the back, uh, uh the gentleman Boyle, uh, O'Connell, and then I'm doing Maxi on the right. I'm going to, I'm going to keep Bolton. I think he earned this. I think he earned his spot. Keeping stash in the middle going Lee, excuse me, Andy cannonball cannonball run there. And I'm going Palmer and Mulls up front. And then, you know, Gio can come in jam later, but we'll see. I'm going to keep the same side. So um, I, I think that's important to uh, I think it's important one for, you know, not messing, not changing the team up sometimes when you're when you're doing a good thing. I think I think, I think the what he could do is he might bring Barnett in. I can see him doing that. I can see him actually putting Barnett in there. That's one change that I think he'll do up front. He won't. I don't think he'll make any moves, but I would keep the same side. Um, and I think we should go for it. Absolutely be on the front foot for that tomorrow. And John, like you said, big game, big game players. And that's what we have to do. Uh, John says there's a seven aside tournament, one million dollar prize money. That's not that's that's good money. That's the TST, right? You're saying that too. Uh, that'll buy a player or two. Should do, should do. We're uh, in the chat. Uh, the, the Red Horde and Sheldon were having a or sorry, the, sorry in our Discord. Uh, Sean and Sheldon, I call him the Red Horde. I, I, I you know, his name's Sean. Um, good guy, by the way. Um, and go and go, uh, go subscribe and, and, and go check out uh, the Red Horde and the good things we're doing over there. And, uh, Matt, the Racehorse Rainbow as well. Um, uh, it's a good group of community, um, channels. I, I don't know, I call them fan channel. I guess we're all fans, but uh, fan channels. So, um, it's a good group and community that we're all coming together. But anyways, I was saying they were talking about the financials this morning at like one thirty in the morning. And I was like, I saw it buzzing and I was like, oh, I had like one eye open. I was doing like one eye open. Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, they're talking about the financials, all of it. So there's there's a lot going on in the Discord too. If you're not in it, uh, John says don't change a thing unless he has to. Leaving Evans out will be difficult, though. It will be. I totally agree. Um, I mean, Gio's my favorite player. I think he's miles uh, miles above everybody in the middle of the park uh, in stat in the league. That is probably for me probably the best one of the best midfielders in probably league two and league one for that matter. I think Ivan said that yesterday, um, <clears throat> but I wouldn't change anything, but having, he's not fully fit yet. Right. I'd say John, he's not fully back yet. So having him come back in, we'll see, but stash played 90. Uh, that, that'd be interesting too. You know, stash playing 90. Is he, is he back to full fitness for that? Do you think maybe he'll give a rest there? I don't know, but I mean, the, the sub is geo and geo can play, you know, 60, 65 and then bring stash right on. But um, the level of the midfield in the park, um, it's incredible. Remember the game, a game against Crawley Town, like I mentioned earlier, they had 34% possession. They had 17 shots, eight on target. They had 17 shots with 34% percent possession. That's insane. Uh, 17 shots. And it was, um, it was back and forth. So what we should be doing is we should be stepping on the ball tomorrow and we should be getting, if we're going to, if they're going to give us that much possession, we'll take it. We should take the possession and we can, we can break them down and we can score goals. Easy, easily done. Uh, everyone like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Like, share, subscribe, get involved. Uh, get involved. On our way to 1,000 with the new memberships and all the super chats and everything. So fun stuff. What else is going on here? John said maybe uh, maybe a half each of those two. I, I, John, I, 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 can, I would love to do that. I don't think he's going to – Parkinson doesn't do that. He's, you know, he's, he's going to stick to it. He's going to do his 65, which is fine, and either guy is good, and that's the greatest part about having them come back. Um, so we got good, we got good options there. We got good options. Um, so it's exciting, but you know, last time we played Doncaster, they were a different side. We're a different side and, um, have a most firing right now. I feel very confident going into this game. I think like some, like John said earlier, we're up for the big matches. We are up. I don't care what their league position is. doesn't matter. They can be in the basement because we're going to play for a screen and you know, they're going to be up for it. We're going to get everyone's best punch. So I don't care about league position. I don't care about anything. We got to go down there and take care of business. Um, uh, anyways, all right. Uh, I'll wrap it up there. 
uh, been on for 25 minutes. I was going to do a half hour just because, you know, I know the, I know the, the game's on the, uh, I know the uh, Arsenal Man City game is on and I don't want to spoil that for anybody. And also I know it's Easter, but um, tomorrow I'm traveling back up. There's games on. I'll let everyone know if there's going to be something on the channel. I'll put it out there uh, for, for the live watch alongs. That is I'll probably do a show tomorrow night as a proper, like deep dive into the game for a match preview because I want to I want to get Parkinson's thoughts. I like to get Parkinson's thoughts out there and get your take on it as well uh, and read what he has to say. There's nothing. He hasn't said anything today. I thought there might be something by now, but I guess not. By the way, the, the, the women did win 3-0, um, so that's good. But, uh, yeah, I want to see what Parkinson has to say. So that's the one thing I'll be doing probably tomorrow. Um, but I'll be in the Discord. I'll be in the chat, and hopefully everyone is have um, – and hopefully everyone is having a good uh, Easter Sunday. Last question. Why so chilly there today? 59, it says. Uh, in the desert? Or where? Hold on. Hold on one second. Let me check it out. Let me check it out. It's 49 in LA. 53. Raining. Uh, it rained yesterday. Not that I care. Uh, 61 today in Palm Desert. 61. So, I mean, tomorrow, 71, 79, 82. Kicks right back up, John. So, I don't know. But it looks... If I could, uh, I don't know if you can see it. it is sunny out. It is sunny out, but it is a little bit chilly. Happy e happy egg day, everyone. Matt Al, yeah, happy Easter to you as well. Happy Easter, Aaron. All right, let me get out of here. Go spend time with your friends and family. I will see everyone tomorrow night, probably for a uh, definitely chilly for this place. Yeah, definitely. But best time of the season. Best better than 120 in the summer for sure. Uh, it was three degrees Celsius in Rexham this morning. Um, cheers, all. Cheers, John. Good to see you. All right. Go spend time with your families. Uh, go watch the games and uh, family and friends. And uh, happy Easter. That is, you know, just a quick, quick touch and base about, you know, we can't give up for tomorrow. We've got to go, got to got to bring on the Rovers. Can't rest on our laurels. Yeah. So uh, I will, uh, I'll message everyone about what's going to happen in the next, uh, to, for tomorrow, if there's anything live going on here for the, sh for the games, the other games, but I will be doing a show tomorrow night. So, all right, off the drop. Go on, go on, Mano. Too. All right, on that bombshell.